Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items I bought low and sold for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are my bread and butter. So these are $35 or less. If you want to see my big money bolos, I do have videos on those as well. All right, you guys, these are typically easier to find items. I pick these up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace. Um, and I'm going to explain all of it as we go. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first item. The first item I sold are these vintage cutie club horse and dolls. Um, so they're like these little teeny tiny minifigures. If you look at it in my hand, they are very, very small. Um, I believe these came from a garage sale just in a mixed lot of things. Uh, I had no clue what they were. And I think I used Google Lens to figure it out. But I got, um, I ended up taking a best offer of $26 for these. The buyer was all in for $34.03. So if you see these, don't dismiss them because 26 bucks for what? Five little teeny dolls um, is pretty, pretty good, I think. Okay, the next item is from the Marks um, of Guns of Navarone playset that I parted out. Um, I had three floor pieces and the same person bought all three of them. So they ended up paying $50.77 and then with shipping and tax and everything, I believe they got um, my $5 shipping discount for buying multiple things. So they were all in for $66.22. So there's this floor piece, this floor piece, and this floor piece. So $50.77 for those three items plus shipping. The next item I sold is this 2004. It's from Wendy's. It's um, from the movie Elf, it's Buddy, and it's like a little clip. So it's a kid's meal toy, you guys, but I thought that it was super cute. I had a feeling it was gonna sell, and it did. This came from a garage sale for 25 cents. It sold for $11.20, and the buyer was all in for $16.30. And you can see right here on the tag, it actually says Wendy's. So that is the only reason that I knew. The next item that sold is this Snow Babies ornament, and I did take it out of the packaging and just to show each side because it was a pre-owned ornament. It is a Department 56 Snow Babies miniature ornament. I love you, snowman, and it is retired. And I ended up taking a best offer of $10 on this, and it sold for $17.09 um, with tax and shipping. And I picked that up at a thrift store for $1. The next item I sold is this lot of two vintage putts houses. If you guys have never sold these, um, they are definitely a bolo item. They typically always sell. Some can go for hundreds of dollars and some are bread and butter. These two happen to be bread and butter. I ended up selling these best offer of $24 and the buyer was all in for $32.96. And I picked these up at an estate sale for $1. The next item is this indoor battery operated wind chimes. And um, the fan was kind of loud or I probably would have kept it just because it was so cool. Um, but I didn't really notice the fan and my husband came home and he's like, all I hear is the fan. And I'm like, really? I don't think it's that bad. So um, I decided to just sell it and disclose that the fan is loud. Um, I ended up selling this for a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $36.17. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. The next item I sold is this sweatshirt. And I don't buy a lot of clothes anymore, but I did pick this up at a thrift store. It was vintage. So vintage Disney. I was like, I'm just going to try it. It was like a dollar. And I sold it for, um, it was an auction and it sold for $26. And the buyer was all in for $36.98. So clothes really aren't my thing anymore, but I had to pick this one up. The next item came from a mystery box that a subscriber sent me. And I do have footage of that over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you'd like to check that out. 
um, she gifted this to me. And these little vintage Christmas glass pine cones, they are light bulb covers. They sold for $10, best offer, and the buyer was all in for $16.91. I think somebody could probably also use these like as um, just a little home decor thing. They're really cute. The next item I sold is also from that Mark's Navarone playset. Um, this is a replacement wagon, and I'm not sure what this actually is, but um, I put the two pieces together. And it sold for a best offer of $25 and the buyer was all in for $31.51. So my cost of goods for this, I think I paid $3 for the entire playset. And if you guys want to know more about this, um, I was on a thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. If you go over there, I talk about this. It was the second thrift battle I was in. The next item is this vintage Danish Amscan fall seasonal decoration honeycomb acorns. So I do believe that these were pre-owned because the packaging was open. So I marked them as used. I sold these for $14. The buyer was all in for $20.70 and I got these at a garage sale for $1. This ski mask, it's a winter knit face mask, beanie cap, and it's got reindeer and it's blue and orange and it's super, super cool. I couldn't find anything like it. So I did put rare in the title. HTF hard to find would be another good keyword. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of 24 on this and the buyer was all in for $29.90 and I can't remember where I got this. The next item is this 1993 Ertl, I think it is, Farm Country Riding Stable set. It is incomplete. It is vintage. I ended up taking a best offer of 20 on this and it sold um, with tax and shipping for $37.57. Um, got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. So basically somebody was buying it incomplete. They either already have it and they're looking for parts or they're going to try to complete it. I'm not sure. I can show you here. I laid everything out so they could see exactly what they were getting. The next item I sold are these Windsor and Newton Winton, Winton oil color. Um, they're paints, you guys. And I believe that they were still full to the top. I don't know. I put pre-owned because I wasn't sure but they were super full. Um, I got these at a garage sale for $2, took a best offer of 25. The buyer was all in for $34.97. And it, as you can see here, these are the big tubes. They're not the little ones. The next item I sold is this Hasbro Transformers Play School Heroes Rescue Bot Autobot Blur the Car. So if you use Google Lens, you can figure out the actual car name. This guy is Blur. Um, these rescue bots range from bread and butter to a higher bread and butter. Um, I think 25, 30 bucks I've sold some of them for. It really just depends. I took a best offer of 14 on this. I got it for a quarter at a thrift store and it sold for uh, all in. The buyer was all in for 2074. Play, draw, create. This came out of a mystery box. Um, I just kind of was like, it's new old stock. Um, sell on Etsy. Huh, that was a weird uh, ringtone. I don't know if somebody liked my item, favorited my item. I didn't know I got an alert for that. Maybe that's something new. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, this came out of a mystery box. The reason I decided to list it is because it was new old stock. It's not a high dollar item. I ended up taking a best offer of $12 and the buyer was all in for $25.82. By the time you add like tax and shipping, it does add up. The next item is this Disney Mickey Mouse Pop-Up Pals Activity Toy Collectible. It's hard to find. It works. Um, it is vintage. I got this also out of a mystery box, and I took a best offer of $25, and the buyer was all in for $46.15. The next item is this Connects Screaming Serpent Roller Coaster Instruction Manual Only. I sold this for $8.40, and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $15.88. Um, I have... This is the second time I have parted out the Screamin' Serpent. Um, so if it's incomplete, I usually will take the time to part it out because it does pretty well, but it is very time consuming. So I'm not sure if I'd advise it or not, but um, sometimes I get in these moods to part things out and that's what I did. The Fisher Price Little People Cinderella Clip Clop Horse. If you can find these Clip Clop Horses, they usually do pretty good. They're a great bread and butter item. They typically sell um, pretty quickly. This one is missing the carriage cover. So I only sold it for $8 and 40 cents. 
and the buyer was all in for 1511 and I got it at a garage sale for a quarter. But I guess my point in showing this is that even though the cover was missing, somebody still bought it. And then I sold this one that actually has the cover. You can see here, it's the same item. And I sold this one for $11.19. The buyer was all in for $18.06 and I paid 50 cents for that one at a garage sale. The next item are these, um, it's a lot of 13 vintage 1990s McDonald's Barbie Happy Meal toys. And I sold these for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $31.63. Um, I did put will need cleaned, sold as seen because I was not gonna take the time to um, clean these up. So these came out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this um, lot of vintage Halloween die cut party treat bags. These also came out of a mystery box. I took a best offer of $15 on those. The buyer was all in for $23.21. This is a little vintage wedding dress veil on a hanger. Um, it's for a dollhouse. So it's a dollhouse miniature. It's super, super cute. Um, I ended up selling this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping and tax all in for $20.08. This is Hallmark Computer Friendly Stationery. It's a sailboat. It is discontinued new old stock. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $8 on this. It did take a while to sell, but um, I do want you guys to know that some vintage stationery can be big money. So it is worth looking it up. This one, not so much. I mean, they paid me eight, but after tax and shipping, they were all in for 2041, so. The next item is this Chuck E. Cheese limited edition soft play ball. Anything Chuck E. Cheese I pick up uh, has a pretty good, um, I, I've never looked up the sell through rate, but it sells well for me. It seems like it always sells. So if I see it, I grab it. This one actually, I believe came out of a mystery box or I got it at a garage sale. I know I've had a couple different balls listed. This one sold for $7. The buyer was all in for 17, I'm sorry, $13.73. The next item is this official pit row stock car, Jeff Gordon, baby Ruth, new old stock. Again, just a bread and butter item. I can't even remember where I got it. It sold for $10.49. The buyer was all in for $17.50. This Briar Classic Magical Unicorn Rainbow Glitter Morgan Stallion. Um, I got this at a thrift store for a quarter and it sold for a best offer of $12 and the buyer was all in for $19.76. And the next item is this VTEC Rattle Move and Zoom Racer Driver Replacement Yellow Boy Race Car. So he's um, a race car driver. I don't know why I put race car there. Maybe because he goes with a race car. I don't know. Do you ever look back at your titles and are like, why did I do that? I could have hit sell similar. Uh, this came out of a mystery box and it kind of rattles. And I sold this for $8.40 and the buyer was all in for $14.74. I really didn't know what this was. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to sell. I don't, if I remember correctly, I couldn't figure out which place that it went to, but I believe it's a replacement part. So um, yeah, these small toys, I mean, someone's looking for them and it's always nice when you can put a toy in a home with somebody that actually needs it. So um, I know a lot of you won't take the time to list an item that's under $10 and you know, I, it's not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes I'm just in the mood to list smalls. Like they're easy, they're easy to ship, and they turn a nice profit. So I usually get them for pennies. So, all right, you guys, that was 29 bread and butter bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a decent profit. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, drop me an emoji of a hat down in the comments if you made it to the end of the video. And there's gonna be some other videos popping up and a subscribe over here. Um, if you're not subscribed, I'd, I would greatly appreciate it and um, check out another video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.